What's going on guys? Welcome back to the PowerPoint Club. Today, we're gonna to talk about a question I hear all the time. How do you remove a background from an image or a logo just using PowerPoint? Well, you absolutely can, and PowerPoint offers two ways, and I've got a sneaky third way, which I'll share later on. They're all a bit different with varying results, so let's dive in and take a look at the good and the bad. So the first and easiest method is a set transparent color method, whereby you tell PowerPoint that one particular color within your photo or logo needs to be transparent. Hit picture format and then choose color and set transparent color. Simply click the color you want to disappear. This method is great for images with a white background or a background of a solid color. I mainly use it for logos that don't have a transparent background that I need to quickly remove. However, this method only works if your image or logo background is one color. If not, you will get something like this, which is no use. It can be quite messy with rough edges, but it's quick and dirty and can do the job if you don't need to be pixel perfect. A quick tip, add a soft edge onto your image just to smooth out the rough edges. So what do we do if we have an image that doesn't have a solid background like this? Well, PowerPoint has a remove background function now, while this tool is getting better all the time and is probably fine for most users, it's still not perfect. But let's give it a go on this coffee cup and see what results we get. With your image selected, go to picture format and simply hit remove background. PowerPoint will look at the image and take an initial guess at what needs removing. The purple area is what is gonna be removed and you can further refine by painting in areas to keep and areas to delete using the two buttons here. Contrasting images with a clear separation of subject and background will always give the best results. Busier images like this are a bit tougher and take a bit of time to get right. It can be quite fiddly and frustrating. and you're often left with kind of soft edges. But all in all, it does a decent job and you can revisit and fine tune until your heart's content. Hopefully this tool will keep on improving. <coughs> cough, cough, Microsoft. Now, if you need something a little bit more precise, I've got a cheeky third way of doing this, which you may or may not know about. And that is to manually draw a shape or mask around your image and then tell PowerPoint to remove what is outside of that shape. This is kind of the closest thing to the Photoshop pen tool where we draw a clipping path around our subject and then remove it. This method can be fiddly and time consuming, but if you have the time to master it, it's a really useful skill. Hit the freeform shape tool and simply draw a really rough selection around your image, clicking and moving until you're back at the start and close the loop to make a shape. Now let's remove the outline and change the shape to yellow or a really contrasting color 
and set the transparency to say 50% to make the image and the mask visible so we're not kind of working blind. Zoom in on your image and right click your mask and hit edit points. This will show us where we clicked to create a rough mask. Now it's just a case of using these edit points to draw around your image in more detail. Move your edit points around the outline of your image, add them, delete them, and grab these white squares to make your lines curved. It does take a little practice, but it is definitely a skill that's worth mastering. Right click on the edge of your mask to get a bunch of options, such as add points, delete points, make smooth or curved lines. Have a play and see what results you get. Once you're happy with your mask, grab your image and then shift click to select your mask, hit shape format, and then merge shapes. Choose intersect and PowerPoint will now remove everything outside the mask. So you're now left with a clean image with nice crisp lines. You get more control this way and it gives you smooth lines. However, it does take longer. It's a bit fiddly. And once you've done this, you can't go back and re-edit your points. So that's it. Three ways to remove a background from an image or a logo. Some better than others, but some quicker than others. If you find yourself doing this lots and lots in your work, it might be time to level up and add Photoshop to your presentation toolbox. But until then, PowerPoint does a decent job in meeting this need. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that some of the tips were useful and you can use them in your next project. Please drop me a comment below with any tips, tricks or cool stuff you want to know about and I'll be sure to add them to my ever growing video list. Please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the channel and more videos are on the way.